Jacob Marley's Christmas Carol. Marley was dead to begin with, and this is where our story begins. This is a different angle on the Scrooge story. All the little bits and exciting Scroogey bits are in it. But this begins with Marley in darkness, having just died. Delighted to see you again, Mr. Marley. I trust your accommodations were satisfactory. <laughs> I hear you've been making yourself quite at home. But yes, <laughs> most amusing. <laughs> You are aware, of course, that there are certain requirements that must be met. I don't care! What do I do? Where do I sign? I would happen to be Jacob Marley. Um, it's that time of year where they have to dust off the curmudgeonly old Englishman that <laughs> actually give him a part. Well, Michael, tell me about your character. Well, the Bogle is um, Jacob Marley's spiritual guide through hell. Why don't we it's a redemption surprise. story for everyone. <laughs> if Marley succeeds, the Bogle succeeds. Marley felt another lightheadedness and a shift in his eyes. And this is what he saw. There was a golden cord that bound the family together. Literally, a cord of shining gold that went from one out to the other and back again. So that the family was bound together in a nest of shining gold. And then Molly saw what it was. And that he too was part of it. The circle went from him too and came back again and they were all bound together. Now, the nudity is stunning. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, You'll so, be very surprised. <laughs> the show opens December 4th at Melbourne Civic Theatre, correct? Yes, it does. As directed by a Oh, Peg my Turner. God. <laughs> That's right. You better hurry. Yes. All right. Uh, yes, and, and directed by, by the, the lovely Peg Gerard. Um, it runs through the 24th of uh, December. Yes. That's yeah. pretty much okay. Me first, just, you yeah. first. What, what? I don't know if it's me or him. God bless, bless us, everyone. everyone. This is Pam Harbaugh for BrevardCulture.com.